Well, there's always buzz surrounding the release of Sports Illustrated's annual swimsuit edition. But this year, it's a different kind of buzz. Somali-American model Halima Eden is making history, not for how little she is wearing, but by how much. Images like this are now making history. And you see her right there. That's what's called a burkini. An advanced spread of pictures from Inside Sports Illustrated's annual swimsuit issue got a lot of media attention this week. And a lot of the media seem to embrace the idea. Anytime we celebrate a woman, or a guy, but especially in this case, a woman who challenges our traditional mm -hmm. notions of beauty, well done. Naturally, model Halima Aden is proud to be featured. What I've always been passionate about is combining fashion with activism and breaking those stereotypes. Except some would say wearing a hijab is itself a stereotype and not necessarily a flattering one. It's a symbol of actual oppression. Now somehow the Today Show folks think this is a symbol of equality. It's possible SI is trying to make its practice of pasting half-naked women on its cover more palatable to the Me Too movement by including someone who dresses more modestly and even one who is, holy cow, 54. You see a wide range of age and race and levels of modesty. Let's face it, this is a sham. It's all about titillation, which is why you'll never see Halima Aden or a 54-year-old on the cover. Yeah, I'm just not buying this. I, I, everybody <laughs> picked this story up. It was all the local and the national news and, oh, isn't this wonderful? And, this. and by the way, it has nothing to do with beauty. Of course she's be beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what she was wearing that was the angle. And the only reason they did it was to make it more palatable. You know, and after all these years, no. it's like... I think, I think inclusion is really important. I think it's good for people to see different standards of fashion, different ideas of what's acceptable. I think it's great to see that I mean, mainstream. People, men, men whoever, that whoever's magazine. reading it. <laughs> but I'm trying to... There are probably some women who pick it up, too. Yeah. But the bottom line is this is to sell more copies of a magazine, possibly to a wider audience. Some people who will be curious will pick it up. And there's not, I mean, they always try to do some big, enlightened, empowered thing. Mm -hmm. Last year was the nude models with things written on them in Sharpie. In other years, it's been other, other stances. And those are a really tiny portion of the magazine. It's still going to be someone wearing, you know, a statement necklace slung around their hips, holding <laughs> onto their top as the cover. <laughs> Well, yeah. first, first, let me say, I mean, I try to take care of myself, but I wouldn't mind one of those burki burkinis <laughs> for the beach this you summer. For if the kids are watching for Father's Day, do they make them for men? No, all right. That's the thing. But look, this is a, a publicity stunt. Yeah. End of story. Uh, the, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue is what's known in the trade as a lav mag. Yeah. Do I need to spell it out? Yeah, no. Oh. So, you know... Uh, if they sell and, and, and next year they do a similar thing and they can sell more power to them, they've been struggling financially, mm -hmm. that magazine has. Uh, but uh, the idea that they're woke, no. I, I'm sorry, put me back to sleep if that's what woke <laughs> is. Well, the magazine, I, I believe, is up for sale, so maybe we'll, we'll see when it gets sold. I don't know. You know, I'm going to take the non-cynical view here. I mean, I think that this is a diverse and multicultural society that we live in now and if you want to uh, reach out to an audience that is uh, Muslim as well as every other tradition uh, you might as well include some people from those different backgrounds uh, I think that the people who buy this issue every year would certainly be disappointed if it was 78 pages of burkinis <laughs> but, uh, but I don't think a couple of pages of burkinis is going to bother anybody and and I think it may make people in the Muslim community feel more included. So why not? Well, I'm going to do the both and. I think it's both <laughs> what you said, and I think it's also a publicity stunt. But I will say there is a huge trend in modest clothing in fashion now. That is a fashion forward. So if you can pair that and be a part of that wave and uh, get some publicity out of it. That's exactly what they've done. Uh, somebody on Project One Way came very close to winning, uh, doing exactly this kind of clothing, uh, beautifully fashion forward, and it's all the rage on runways. If you people aren't keeping up, I'm here for you. Somebody should have so. given Alicia Keys the message. Yeah. Did you well, see what she was wearing at Harvard this week? No, I did not. She was naked from the... 
she had on a, a jacket and was n naked to the waist. Well, I'm just it saying. stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying there is a <laughs> whole other <laughs> trend that <laughs> is fashion forward that people who don't even normally dress modestly mm -hmm. are embracing. Well, she didn't get the so memo. that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, okay.